Hello and welcome to Eleni Yama Yoga. Today we are doing a short restorative yoga practice. So we are going to be sitting most of the time. If you have a strap, grab it next to you because we are going to be doing some forward bends. And let's get right into it. Start by coming to your child's pose. Just extending your arms in front of you. Letting your head fall down and extending the arms as far as you can so that your shoulders are opening. Breathe very deeply and stay here for three more breaths. Letting your breath come from your nose to your belly, feeling your belly expand and then collapse again when you breathe out. Just feel the breath. then slowly come up and from here we are going to do cat and cow just as we are seated so this is a new version of cat and cow you can inhale open your cactus arms to the sides expand your chest to the front and exhale round your back look to your belly and then interlace your hands inhale open and exhale round your back. Inhale one more time. And exhale. And one last time. And from here come to all fours. We are going to continue warming up the shoulders and opening them. So inhale, right arm up to the sky and exhale, just drop your hand behind you so that you reach your left hip. Just a twist of the hand here. One deep breath, looking up to the sky. Then extend your arm up. And bring it down to the ground and we change sides. Extend the left arm up, opening your chest to the side. And exhale. Let your hand come to your right hip. Looking up, one more breath. And exhale up and then down with your hand and one more time on each side inhale upright arm and exhale twist inhale up come down left side inhale up and exhale twist inhale up and exhale drop your hand and from here, extend your arms for puppy pose. So go as far as you can today, dropping your chin or your chest towards the ground. One more breath. If you want, you can grab your palms, come to your forehead, grab the palms and let them fall just behind your neck so that you are extending the triceps.
and then slowly release and come up and then come to seated extending your legs to the front and first of all just to open up a little bit we are just going to walk the hands to the front and then walk them back with a straight back walk them up to your feet on the floor walk them back and two more breaths like this walking the hands and then come up and from here take your right knee bend it and let it fall to the ground if you want to put something below your knee please feel free Otherwise, just grab your strap or any other long sock that you have or something which is steady to hold and long enough. And we're just going to put our strap on our left foot, keeping the spine very, very long and very slowly just come down. Keep pulling with the strap and making sure your back is straight. Janu Shirshasana on the right side. You should feel a hamstring stretch, a very intense one. And two more breaths here. And slowly come up extend your right leg and we change legs so bending the left knee to the side and then grabbing your strap and putting it on your right foot first of all sit very tall with a very straight back here and then slowly Bend over the right leg, coming down and pulling with the strap. Look to the front and two more deep breaths. And then slowly come up and from here we are extending both legs taking the strap putting it on both feet for Paschimottanasana with straight legs so we are having a very long spine and just bending over both legs pulling with the strap making sure you don't go too far and that your lower back is straight so do not round the lower or the mid back keep everything in one line we are staying here a little bit longer So three more breaths here. And then slowly release. And from here we are going to um, turn to the side. So come to Janu Shirshasana again with your right knee to the outer side, bend it. But then we are going to also turn the chest to the right knee so that we are 
um, left leg is on the left side of us. And from here you have again two options, holding with the strap and then extending your right arm up. So hold the strap around your left foot with the left hand, extend the right arm and just bend over, reaching your right hand to the left foot and looking up. You can also grab the strap with both hands. So we are extending the right side body here. And two more breaths. And slowly come up and we'll change sides so we extend the right leg bend the left knee come to Janu Shirshasana with the left knee bend but then looking to the left knee with your chest turning to the side grabbing your strap around the right foot and um, holding it with the right hand inhale left hand up and exhale, reach towards your left leg. Inhale, left arm up. And exhale, reach towards your right foot with the left hand or hold the strap. Extending and stretching the left side body and breathing in. Two more breaths here. And then slowly come up. And from here, come to your um, knees again. So sitting on your knees. And we are just going to inhale, hands up. And exhale, very easy twist. Left hand comes on your right knee, right hand behind you. Looking back. Chest is opening to the right side. With the next inhalation, hands up. And exhale, right hand on your left knee, left hand back. Look back. Next inhalation, go up, both hands. And one more time on the right side, but this time with your right hand Try to grab the left hip from the back. Looking back. Inhale, both hands up. And exhale the other side. So turn to the left. With your left arm, try to grab your right hip. And then slowly release and come to your butterfly pose. So sit seated down, your knees opening to the sides and just extend your back, a very straight spine. Inhale here and exhale, bend over to the front. Breathe in and let the breath travel all the way to your inner thighs, 
opening them and stretching them. And then slowly come up and from here we are going to all extend the right leg so that we are in a similar position to what we had before but now we are facing the front and both of our legs are on both sides so inhale hands up here and exhale bend over the right leg trying to catch your big toes with the left hand if you don't, don't worry, just as much as you can. Inhale up and exhale, come to the left side, so just like a short flow. Inhale up and exhale, right side again. Inhale up, exhale left. Inhale up and last one and we stay here trying to catch the big toe and looking underneath our armpit. Then slowly come up. And we change legs, so extend the left leg, bend the right knee, and inhale, hands up. Exhale, reach with the right hand to your left toes. Inhale, up. Exhale, right side. Inhale, up. Exhale, left side. Inhale, up. One last time to the right, exhale, inhale up and then just stay here, reaching your big toe and looking under your right armpit. And then slowly come up. And from here, we are going to come to cow face pose. So this is a very intense hip stretch, but we are going to offer two variations. So place the left knee in front of you, bending the, the leg and take the right on top so that the knee is pointing up. You can either stay here with the straight back or if you want to go to the full pose then place your right knee on top of the left one making sure that both feet are pointing out you are sitting in in the middle not on any of your feet inhale hands up and exhale place the right elbow on top of the left one and just interlace your hands inhale palms up to the sky stretching your shoulders as well and exhale bend down if you'd like and then slowly come up Hands up to the sky one more time, stretching the shoulders and then release. And we are going to change sides. So right knee on the floor, left leg on top, either staying here, opening the left hip, the outer side of your hip. Or if you want to go further, then place the left knee on top of the right one, making sure both of your feet are to the sides 
Inhale, hands up. And exhale. Now this time the left le arm is on top. Inhale, hands up. And exhale, bend down. And slowly come up. One more time, palms up to the sky. And then slowly release. And from here, just to finish off our practice, we are going to come to happy baby. So lying down on the mat, grabbing the big toes and pulling the knees towards your chest. So happy baby is one of my favorite poses to finish off a yoga practice, lying down and stretching those hips one more time. And two more deep breaths. And then slowly release. And to finish, we are going to come to reclined butterfly. So keeping your knees, letting them fall to the side, feet together, hands on your belly. And just stay here, breathing in and out very deeply, feeling your belly expand and collapse and try to relax your whole body. So feel free to stay here a little bit longer if you'd like, if you have the time. If not, then slowly release and come back to seated. So this was our restorative yoga practice. If you still haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so. And let me know what you think about this yoga practice in the comments below if you'd like to see more of this. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you soon again back on my channel. Namaste.